Hi here, Finns here. I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be talking about Eurovision, um, the song contest and yeah, the 2018's Eurovision song contest. I know it's been over a month now but let's go over about it and there were 26 countries that were in the grand final but obviously there's always 17 countries that fail to qualify. And some people forget, some people don't even watch the semi-finals and think it's just a Saturday show. Some people just forget about the countries that don't qualify for the grand final. So let's talk about the countries that that didn't qualify. Well, some of the countries anyway. And let's talk about the countries, well I'm going to talk about the countries that I think may should have gone through. Well, to the final. Let's start off with Belgium, Sonique, I'm out of time. Very James Bond song, I really liked it when it first came out, I really loved the song. Maybe what the reason why I didn't qualify, maybe because they had staging problems, it did feel a bit empty. But that being said, I did like the, the opening and the close of the song, like you can see a hand move. Yeah, I, I, I like that bit of it, and yeah, I, I kind of like it. I was quite sad Belgium didn't get through it, it was in my top ten. And so was Azerbaijan. For the first time ever, they didn't qualify for the grand final. Um, it, they were first on, um, and I think the matter of a, on the matter of time, it, it was a matter of, on the day there were better songs, unfortunately. And I really thought if Azerbaijan were going to qualify for the sake of being Azerbaijan, um, but yeah, I, I I like the staging of it, like shark fins or boats or where, or mountains or whatever they're supposed to be like fins I, I kind of I, I like the set I like the staging of it uh, I can see why it came 11th from the semi-final almost got there um, other countries I quite like Switzerland Switzerland had a nice song I didn't have it in my top 10 but it was a grow on me on the night I really liked stones I like the message it had um, but it's just who do you replace um, Let's talk about the second semi-final. There was one country I really loved from it, um, but apparently the televoters did not want to break the ta taboo. The televoters did not want to break the taboo. I'm talking about, of course, Malta. Um, I really liked Malta's performance. Christina Bell singing Taboo, I thought it was a really good song. Um, and I was quite, I was surprised because I had it in my top ten. Um, and what really shocks me is that it came fifth in the jury, and you would think coming fifth in the jury would usually would mean it qualified for the grand final, but it actually came last in it came last in the 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 tele vote, which it, it, that just surprises me. That really does. Um, how? Like, the televoters thought that Georgia, San Marino, and even Montenegro, and even Russia were better than Malta. I can understand because Malta doesn't have any neighbours, but and the UK wasn't voting, and usually Malta and UK usually give points to each other, like Ireland and UK, but, um, it, yeah, and they weren't voting, but it still was a good song. I thought really televoters were going to... <laughs> really gonna get really involved with this song. I thought they were really, really gonna get interested with this song. Like it was like good staging. Um they had a good message about men breaking the taboo of mental health, mental illness, that kind of stuff. Um I just I really like Malta's song and it's shamed it was dragged down by the televote. And also another song that I was expecting to go through is Poland. I thought that would do much better. It had the Avinci vibes to it. I like DJ Gromy having the snake dance into it. I I I I, I like the song. Maybe just maybe maybe something wasn't working right. Maybe it was just it had pyro, but nobody could see it because DJ Gromy was doing the snake dance. <laughs> see, I've really got into it now. Um, but I I I'm quite shocked because I thought Poland was going straight through easily. Yeah, it's just a surprise. I thought Poland would do much better in the juries and the televote. 
So yeah, I, th I thought it was going to get much higher. Um, other countries, I think that's it. I think those really were the two. Oh, Romania didn't get through for the very first time. Um, yeah, Romania, first time ever. I just found the whole mannequin thing in the, with the mask a bit creepy, and I think that turned off televoters, I think. I mean, he, she did really good vocal at, on the night. Um, it wasn't bad, but it was definitely borderline, and I can understand why they came 11th in their semi-final. The other country that failed to qualify for grand final for this time is, of course, Russia, and... Oh, all I can say is, it, uh, it was just bad. It really was bad. <laughs> Um, you know, I have no hate about Julia, Julia, but I don't know what went wrong this year for Russia. All you needed to do for the staging was just have Julia on a mountain, like Estonia, just let it light up. Um, but no, we had to have two dancers on the stage, you had to have like three backing singers. I mean, there's no problem having backing singers, but you didn't have to have them on stage. I mean, what was the point of the two dancers? I mean, that just loses the focus of Yulia, like... I mean, I think there was like, what was it, like 45 seconds of air camera time to Yulia, which is a bit disgusting, in my opinion. I mean... Like, why were there two dancers on the stage in the first place? And also... The, the, the backing singers, the vocals just didn't work on the night. It, the, the backing singers were singing louder than Yulia, that shouldn't really happen. They were singing the higher notes than Yulia, which shouldn't happen. While she was singing the lower notes, that shouldn't happen. Sometimes you, we saw Yulia actually didn't sing some part of the song, which is not a good sign, that shouldn't happen. So in a way, it was really a complete mess. And it got wor Russia's worst result ever. And you know what, I feel so sorry for Yulia, because she's been working so hard to just be on the Eurovision stage. And like, the last two years of drama about Russia and Ukraine falling out last year, Russia was banned from the song contest last year, because Yulia sung in Crimean, then she couldn't go to Ukraine, now she came this year. I think... Uh, the song was just too hard for Yulia to sing on the night, and it really shows. Um, I just, I don't blame Yulia, I blame the team around Russia, because Russia's, you, I'm very disappointed by Russia. They're usually quite good at Eurovision, and I feel just let down, really. Very disappointed in Russia this year. I thought they could have done so much better with Yulia. Uh, and usually they have to, like, when they do make it to, well, they've always made a grand final so this, this year, but they usually finish top ten. Nowhere near this year. So, yeah, I just feel so sorry for Yulia. She's got so much hate. She doesn't deserve the hate, really. She, the hate should really go to Russia, the team around Russia. Yeah, it's just so sad, because she's been working so hard for two years for her time to shine and she gets dragged down by the team around her. It's just so sad that this probably be the last time we'll ever hear of Yulia in Eurovision because I doubt Russia would really want Yulia back representing Russia in Eurovision after getting the worst result ever for Russia in Eurovision, failing to qualify for the grand final. I think doubt there will be a nap next time, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just sad. It really is sad. Anyway, that's, well, those were just some of the countries that I wanted to talk about on Eurovision. Obviously there were 17 of them, but I obviously don't have time to talk about all of them. Um, what countries did you want to see qualify for the grand final? this year. Um, were you disappointed in some of the entries this year, but were you ha what were you, what were you, what countries would have you, you saw, wanted to see 
qualify for the grand final? Leave them in the comments below. I'm really... The countries I would like to see in qualify was... If I could, with Belgium, Switzerland, Malta, even Poland, maybe Azerbaijan. Um, those three of the five countries I would have liked to see seen in the grand final. Obviously the first semi-final was much harder because the talent was really strong that night. But anyway, what countries would have you like to see in the grand final this year? Which countries were you happy not were in the grand final this year? Leave them in your yeah, thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. And if you want, please subscribe and I will see you back for another video. Bye.